line of deployment. Not a lot of people know what that is. And then I drop your ball. If I tied a string onto the rim or to the net, which I've done, uh, Patrick, you step off a second, and I have it 15 feet extended on the wing, that line from the basket to the, to the wing is the line of deployment. So what does that mean? That means that as an offensive player, I'm deploying the defender off the line. If I can do that, deploy the defender off the line, as an offensive person, I'm going to get the ball in good shape to be able to attack the basket. As a defender, if I can deploy him off the line, that means I've won. So it's just to have the idea to stay on line. Let's say the line moves down. As an offensive player, I've got to stay on line. I've got to stay on line to deploy the defender off the line. Off the line. So let's just walk through that a little bit. Come on up, Patrick. Just, just a little passive defense. No, no, no. You're still on offense. So then now, as he moves, you're going to stay on line. Just go ahead and move down on line. Let's bring it all the way back up. Even if the ball's at the top and I'm flashing in the lane, I have the understanding that I'm staying all line. Okay? So that's the line of deployment. Okay, our next step here is, Alex, come back up. And this is your feet. Our footwork on the post is one of the most critical things that happens. Patrick, come on out. Now, what normally happens in the game, and I can promise you, guarantee that this is going to happen, that a normal player is going to be just like, just like Alex right now, where his foot is off the lane, they go out to the wing. <clears throat> so what happens is that when Alex catches the ball, the defender, because of his footwork where it is now, he can really guard Alex right here because of his footwork. Because Alex could do, back up here, he could really do a couple of moves. He could front turn, or he could baseline reverse. Oh, baseline. This one? Yeah. That's really all he could do in that position. When your foot is out, he cannot drop step to the basket. So what you need to do is to be able to pass the ball back to Dan. Your feet have, they've got to be parallel to the leg. And it's or the sideline. When that happens, give him the ball. Then now if Patrick's guarding him, he must play, he must be between him and the basket. So then now that allows him to do various things, whether it's go baseline, go middle. Now you have many options. As opposed to his foot being out and you have limited options the way you go. So you've got to be parallel to the sideline or the key. 